What's up guys? It's Jamie Graphics. It's been a while, hasn't it? I think my last video was early December, late November maybe? A lot happened at the end of uh, 2021. My entire family got COVID. My wife, my daughter, me, my dad, my mom, my brother, my sister, my pregnant sister, and it hit the family pretty hard. Thank God most of my family didn't really end up with too bad of symptoms, but me, my dad, and my sister got hospitalized for at least a week, and my dad was in the hospital for an entire month, all of December. Yeah, it was pretty scary there for a bit. So I got home right before Christmas and I put out that last vlog of the Tesla. I was really contemplating not putting it out because I was still really short of breath at the time. I couldn't even say more than a sentence or two without coughing. I still have that lingering cough, but I'm a lot better now. My dad's a lot better now. My sister's a lot better. Thank God we survived it. Um, we know a lot of close family and friends that, you know, were unfortunately didn't make it through that season of COVID. Grateful that we made it just fine. We're just moving forward and being thankful for that. Taking all of January to kind of recoup myself physically, I had a lot of time to think and see where I wanted to go with the channel um, coming into 2022. I got to talking with a lot of friends and I kind of discovered a new passion. Don't worry, it's not too much of a change up. I got really into film photography. When I started my photography journey, 10 years ago, uh, I dove right into digital. Blew right past film. I never got the bug for it. Digital was just easier, cheaper. It's just what I what I took and ran with. About five years ago, I did kind of want to get into it. Just seemed like uh, it would be fun to try. I bought a, a Canon AE-1 program. Um, yes, I know, everybody and their mothers have that camera. I'm a Canon boy and uh, I like it. I like the look of it, I like the aesthetic. I think uh, it was just a beautiful camera. I had a lot of vintage cameras that were gifted to me. Anytime someone had one, either their grandparents passed it down to them and they didn't know what to do with it, or if they saw it at a flea market or thrift store and they thought of me, uh, people would give them to me. It was a really good feeling knowing that if people saw a vintage camera or any camera, they thought of me and wanted to buy it for me and gift it to me. So I had a huge collection, huge collection of vintage cameras. Unfortunately, I was broken into in my apartment and they stole all of them. Um, they even stole my actual camera at the time too, like my work camera. Pretty devastating. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to continue my career in photography. They caught the people, but by then they had already pawned off a lot of the vintage cameras and were still holding on to my main camera. So the officers were able to return my, my camera to me, but the lenses that I had with it were like bashed. I don't even know. It seemed kind of personal to be honest. Thankfully, I was able to get my digital camera back and continue doing you know, what I love to do, but I lost all of my film cameras and it just kind of left a real sour taste in my mouth. I didn't ever try to get new film cameras or anything like that, kind of just let it be as it was. I think I had only developed one roll of 35 millimeter. It was of a hike that I went with my wife and my dog and my friends. That was it. I never bothered to give it a second chance. Until now, I uh, got the bug. I have a friend named Jake who I recently started connecting with. He's got a beautiful Pentax. It's gorgeous. And it really, the pictures he takes with it have a, just a unique look to them that I was really impressed by. So I started asking him like, oh, what are you doing? What do you shoot and all this stuff? He told me he shoots film. He's turned me on to some great YouTubers like Grainy Days is probably the one that I'm the most addicted to. My buddy Rob actually has a degree in film and developing and photo restoration and stuff like that. He's got a wealth of knowledge and I plan to do a lot of challenges with them if they're up for it and just shoot with them. Kind of get their input on film since they've been doing it longer than I have. Kind of see what it's like to have a film noob and a film guru and see uh, the different perspectives on photography and film photography. So if that seems interesting to you guys, I'd love to have you guys hit that subscribe button if you're already not subscribed. Hit the like button if you like this video. Do you guys think we should make a whole new channel? I do already have an Instagram specifically for my film photography. So if you aren't following that one, please do so now. It's uh, Indecent Exposures. Something I've noticed in Instagram is uh, that a lot of these film photographers have witty names. So I try to, you know, do my own spin on being witty. Hopefully it worked. I do have a lot of plans for this channel or a new channel if you guys think that that's the route we should take, but it's mainly going to be geared more towards the fundamentals of photography and kind of what it's like learning photography all over again because film's kind of a different beast. 
Um, a lot of the stuff you know with digital doesn't really apply to film photography very well. I constantly underexpose all my shots to get a little bit more dynamic range in the highlights because I can pump my shadows and it's not that big a deal. Can't really do that in film. The underexposed starts to get muddy in film. So it's gonna be a huge change for me to try and learn how to overexpose, which I should already be overexposing uh, when shooting log. Um, I'm, I'm supposed to be overexposing slightly when shooting log and I just have a hard time doing it. I hate the way that it looks, even though I know I'm gonna grade it later. Um, but anyway, started looking into film cameras of my own, uh, started digging into uh, my storage stuff in the garage to see if there was anything I could salvage. I found a few rolls of 120 film. So I scoured the internet to find a cheap 120 film and I came across this little Kodak Duoflex. So it takes 620 film, but 620 film and 120 film are almost the same. You just have to modify the actual spool a little bit by shaving it down on the sides and then it fits perfectly fine. I'm already on photo number eight on it and people say it gets harder to turn as you go on if you do that little hack, but I haven't had that experience. Just shaving it down just fine, works just fine. So we'll see how the photos look on this. As I was also searching in the garage, I found one of my cameras, this Polaroid, and it still has a sticker on it. It was five bucks. It's not the prettiest by any means or even the better of this specific model, but it works. I can control the exposure at the very least, but I've been playing with that too. I have about two frames left on this one and then Last week, I got my AE-1 program back. This was the camera that really hurt to lose. I thought it was gorgeous. Everything about it was just perfect to me. I saw a great deal on it on eBay with the winder and the little sports group it has. I, I pulled the trigger and it comes with the 50 millimeter 1.4. Usually you'll see it on the internet with the 1.8. And when I saw this one for the with the 1.4, I knew I had to get this one. If you would like to see me do a more in-depth review of this camera or any of these cameras, let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to share what I know about any of these cameras. And I think I'm gonna stick with that for the foreseeable future. You know, film can already be an expensive hobby. I don't wanna start getting into gear acquisition syndrome with film photography because it's an expensive hobby. Film alone costs a lot. And so um, I'm probably gonna stick with just these ones and shoot with them. Kinda the direction that I plan to go this year. I kinda really wanna take film and focus on film. What do you guys think about that? Like I said, if you aren't already following, please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next one.